Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Luke chapter 18, where Luke wrote about Jesus teaching a parable and giving instructions about prayer, where Jesus discussed heaven with a rich young ruler of the land, and where Jesus healed a blind man. Jesus taught his disciples and said, you should pray always and not lose heart. Take this example. A town had a certain judge who did not fear God and did not respect man. And there was a widow in the same town. Someone was trying to sue the widow for everything that she owned. The widow talked to the judge and asked him for legal protection. He refused. But the widow would not give up. She kept asking and asking. The judge said to himself, I don't fear God and I don't care about anyone other than myself. But this widow keeps bothering me and keeps asking over and over. I will give in to her requests so that she will go away. Did you hear what the unrighteous judge did? Now consider what your Father in Heaven will do when you ask Him for something repeatedly. He will bring about justice for His elect who cry to Him day and night. He will not delay too much longer. Jesus taught another lesson to the crowd. He said, two men went into the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a hated tax collector. The Pharisee stood up and he started speaking. He didn't realize that God was not listening to him. He prayed to himself, God, I thank you that I'm not like other sinners who steal or commit adultery or even like this tax collector beside me. I fast and I pray tithes. The tax collector, on the other hand, wouldn't even lift up his eyes to heaven. He was hitting himself in the chest and he said, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. I tell you the truth, the tax collector went away justified and forgiven. The Pharisee did not. I tell you again, everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. He who humbles himself will be exalted. Many people started to bring their young babies to Jesus so that he would touch them and bless them. When the disciples saw it, they rebuked the people. But Jesus rebuked them. He said, Permit the children to come to me. Do not hinder them. The kingdom of God belongs to people like them. In fact, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will not enter it at all. A ruler went up to Jesus and said, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, I noticed that you call all the teachers good. Why do you call all of us good? No one is good except for God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. The young ruler interrupted and said, I kept all of these commandments from my youth. Jesus heard him and said, you don't love God. You know the other commandments about him, right? Like you shall have no other God beside him and you shall not make an idol and worship it and you shall not covet. The man was confused and thought he followed all the rules. Jesus said, you lack something, and I'll show you what it is with two sentences. Sell all that you possess and distribute it to the poor, then you'll have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. The man became very sad, and he cried as he walked away. He knew Jesus was right. He was very rich. Jesus said, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle 
than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Everyone who heard that said, then who can be saved? And Jesus said, indeed, you are thinking correctly. It is impossible for anyone to be saved on their own. Fortunately, the things that are impossible with people are possible with God. He can do and does do anything he pleases. Jesus taught his disciples and said, there is no one who has sacrificed for the sake of the kingdom of God who will not be rewarded in this life. And they will also receive eternal life in the age to come. Listen, we are going to Jerusalem and everything that was written about me in the law and the prophets and the Psalms will come true. I will be handed over to the Gentiles, mocked, spit on, whipped, crucified, and killed. But I will rise again after three days. But the disciples did not comprehend the things that Jesus said. God hid the meaning of these statements from them. As Jesus was approaching Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the side of the road, begging. He heard a commotion and asked the crowd what was happening. They told him Jesus was passing by. He heard about Jesus and was excited. He screamed, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Despite everyone telling him to be quiet, he kept shouting louder and louder. While passing by, Jesus stopped to speak with the man. He said, Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? The man said, Lord, I want to regain my sight. And Jesus said, receive your sight. Your faith has made you well. Immediately, he regained his sight and started following Jesus and glorifying God. The most important verses in this chapter are Luke 18, verses 13 through 14, which state, And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes to heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that many times even a wicked person will give you what you want if you are persistent. How much more will your heavenly Father give you what you ask for if you are persistent? God wants us to see that if a person is self-righteous, he or she wastes their breath if they pray because they are only praying to themselves. If someone is humble and repentant, that person does not waste their breath. God actually listens to them and responds. God wants us to understand that it is right to allow children to come to Jesus. In fact, if we do not all come to Jesus like a child, we will not enter heaven at all. God wants us to see that we are all sinful, even if we think we follow all the rules. And Jesus can point out the places that we fail. And God wants us to see, again, that Jesus told his disciples what would soon happen with his death and resurrection. But since they were expecting Jesus to be a political leader, they could not comprehend the magnitude of what Jesus was about to accomplish. Have you ever been persistent in your prayers to the Lord? Have you been praying to yourself instead of God? Is there something in your life that you refuse to give up to follow Jesus? Why don't you take a quiet minute to think about some of these things right now? Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus for salvation right now. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus conquered hell and death, and his return is near. 
God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you place your faith in Jesus today? Hey, thanks for watching the Luke chapter 18 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.